In insert, we will look at objects. With self-frame right now, you can insert objects into your documentation. The types of objects that you can include in your documentation are OLE types of objects. You can plug in, you can do applet, you can even insert charts into your documentation. In self-frame right, you can insert bookmark into your documentation. All you have to do is click on bookmark. Insert a bookmark for documentation by typing. Once you're done, just click on OK. It will bookmark what you have typed in earlier in the box. When you click on it, you can see that the word is there. You can add more bookmarks for documentation. Next thing we will see is hyperlink. Insert hyperlink into the documentation. All you have to do is click on hyperlink. You can choose the hyperlink type that you want, whether web or FTP or, or telnet. You can give a target for it. And you can do further settings like frame. You can choose the type of frame to what kind of frame. Then you can use text. You can put in the text and the name. Just click on apply and it will apply to your documentation. Or you can choose the type of mail and use either email or news. Then you put in the receiver's name, the receiver's email ID, the subject. And put, if you want to put further settings, you can choose the frame again, frame to from and text and the name and click on apply to apply. If you're putting in document, choose the path of your document, the target in your document. And if there's a URL, you can choose the URL. You can choose further settings frame to which form the text and the name. Just click the same thing. Click on apply and apply. And if it's a new document, you can choose whether you want to edit now or edit later. Choose the file name and the file type. See, there's so many different file types. Is the, the further settings is the same procedure. So once you've chosen whichever you want as a hyperlink, just click on apply and it'll apply to your documentation. The next in insert we will see is express. Express has so many sections in it which you can use for your documentation. The first is a section. Just click on session and you can see that there's an insert section that's made available for you. All you have to do is choose the section. You can choose to link it. You can choose if you choose to link it, then you have the option of DDE, which you can put the file name and then you can, you can choose the session. You can even have a write protection. If you choose a write protection, you can put a password for this insert session. You can even hide it and you can put even a condition for hiding it. You can even put properties where you can choose whether it's editable, you can read on a document or not. Then if you go to columns, you can choose the type of columns that you want for your documentation. And if you choose columns, you can choose the width and the spacing. You can put an auto width, you can put a separated line, you can choose the height, you can choose the position. And in properties, you can choose the tag direction of your documentation. Indents, you can choose how much of indent you want for the documentation. Then you go to background, you can choose the color or you can choose graphic. If you choose a graphic, you have to go to a particular session to, to open up your graphics that you have saved. Or if, if you choose color, you can put a color for your document. You can even put footnotes and endnotes. Footnotes, if you put collect and end of text, just click on it. Then you can put restart numbering. If you put end of notes, you can, you can click on that. And you can do restart numbering. If you click on that, you can do start at one and custom format. You can put before and after. And if you click restart numbering in footnotes, you can put the same thing start and custom format before and after. You can choose. So once you've chosen all this in the insert section, just click on insert. Once you've clicked on insert, it will be applied in your documentation. The next thing in Express that we will see is script. All you have to do is click on script and you can put the types of script. You can put either JavaScript or HTML script. You can choose between URL or text. And if you choose a text, you just type in, in here the text. If it's a URL, you just type in URL. So once you've chosen that, just click on OK. And you can see that the script has been highlighted because I've chosen it as JavaScript. The next thing that you can see in Express is envelope. Just click on envelope. And in envelope, you can see that you can put the addre addresses or you can choose from the database. If you have a database, then you can choose the table in which you have the address's name and the data field. Once you've chosen this, click here and it'll be inputted into the address area. And you choose the sender, it'll have your name, your address and this is how your envelope will look like. You can even put a format for it. You can position from left, 
how left you want your addresses address to be and from top how much you want you can choose the edit button to edit the character and the paragraph the sender you can choose the position from left and top of how you want your address to be in you can even use the edit button to format it you can choose the size of your envelope the width and the height if you're going to print you can show how you want to print your envelope orientation either this way or you print from bottom or shift right or shift down and you can choose the printer setup so once you've done your envelope settings all you have to do is click either a new document or insert into your current document you can even put a frame for your document just click on frame you can choose the type of frame the size the width anchor the height the position you want your frame to be in whether it's horizontal or vertical if it's horizontal you can choose center left right vertical so you can choose the same then you have options in which you can name the frame you can link it to the previous link or the next link you can protect your contents or your position or your size in the properties you can allow it to be printable or editable you can choose your text directions you can choose wrap in which you can choose the settings of your frame either none or before after a parallel a through or optimal and you can choose the spacing from the left to the right from top to bottom you can choose option whether you want to be in first paragraph or in background you can hyperlink your document by putting a url where server side image map then you can choose the borders for your frame you can put a whole border set all four borders then you can choose this line style the color the spacing to the contents that you have put into your documentation you can select you can use to synchronize and if you want to put a shadow you can choose the type of shadow you want to put and you can choose the distance of your shadow and what color you want your shadow to be in you can even put a color for your background or even a graphic for your background all you have to do is just choose between these two and select the appropriate and in the columns you can choose how many columns you want for your document if you choose more than two columns you can adjust the width and the spacing of your document you can put a separate line for your document if you see macro you can put an event for your document so once you've selected any of these tabs just click on ok and it will be implemented into your document you can even put ruler for your documentation all you have to choose is click on ruler you can choose the type of ruler you want you can put a plain ruler or a colorful ruler or you can go from the very thin to very thick there's so many different types of color that you can choose to put for a ruler so once you've chosen it just click on ok and you can see there the ruler has been set for you you can even now insert movies and sounds into your documentation just click on movies and sound in express then choose the place in which you have saved the sound click on it So just choose the sound or video you want to put then click on open you can see the music toolbar will be here all you have to do is click on play you can even add a floating frame into your documentation the procedure is the same as a frame name it give the contents you can put a scroll bar you can put a border you can put a spacing to contents you can put a width or an and a height for your spacing to contents and click on ok and you'll have a floating frame in your documentation as you've seen in insert how to put in an object how to bookmark how to hyperlink and use the express tools in the insert function in cell frame